babies hey y'all it's your girl paris simone or whatever and today i'm gonna be doing a youtube video responding to your guys's dms i literally get so many dms every day of you guys asking me for advice on these little boys or these little girls and it's so hard to respond to all of them texting back because i have so much going on so i was like why not just make this into like a youtube series you know so I don't have a name for it yet. I don't want it to be like Ask Paris or something. I want it to be something like cool and different. So you guys, if you guys have any suggestions, comment below what you think this should be called. Um, I'm going to try so hard to look at the camera and not myself. <laughs> I'll probably look at myself because I like looking at myself. Okay, so the first DM that I'm going to read is from a guy. I'm not going to say your guys' like names or ads or anything because I'm not trying to expose y'all. I'm just trying to give y'all advice. So this one is from a boy though, about a girl. So... Hey, I love your videos and your content, but I have a question and I kind of need your help. So me and my ex broke up three months ago. She told me she still wants to be best friends and keep our relationship going. Most recently, she started talking to a guy and I believe they're dating and she still talks to me too. I'm in love with her and I really want her back because the breakup and the problem want her back i i caused the breakup i think he meant to say i don't know i caused the breakup and the problem is that i moved away for college what should i do okay honestly i feel like if she's in a new relationship if she already you guys have only been broken up for three months and she's already in a new relationship her heart isn't aligned with yours not saying she didn't feel it as much as you did or she doesn't care because she 100 percent does the reason why she's so okay with moving on so quickly and having another boyfriend is because you're still available. You're still accessible to her. You're also hurting a lot because you're still available and still accessible to her. Um, I feel like exes really can't be friends. Truthfully, that's my opinion. I feel like in the future, when you guys have taken that time apart and healed, then you guys can come together maybe a year later or a couple years later and be like, remember when we dated? Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Because you guys don't have that those feelings. You guys don't have that weird energy. Um, but right off the bat, being friends, don't ever put yourself in that situation strictly because of the situation you're in now. Now you have to see her with another guy, but you can't act uncomfortable with it because you guys are friends. Like, no. I think because you're in college and you've moved to a different place, break up. Like, literally cut her off. You guys already broke up. Cut her off. Like, I get it that you you love her and you really enjoyed being with her. But if you guys were meant to be, you would still be, you know? Obviously, with you moving to a whole different place, you guys breaking up, um, this shows that there's someone out there where you are now for you. There's somebody else who you're supposed to experience now. And if you think your ex is so amazing... Imagine how great the next girl is going to be because every time somebody leaves your life, they get replaced with someone 10 times better if you weren't the problem. You feel me? So move on. I know it's hard, but like, honestly, be straight up with her and you can tell her like, you know, I really think you're an amazing person and I really, really love you and care about you. But I also need to care about myself and I can't sit here and pretend that I don't care that you have a new boyfriend. It honestly hurts me a lot. And I feel like I've moved to a different area and that's why we're not together now. So I need to fully experience us not being together. Um, and I need to let go of that. So I think I should probably take some time from you. I don't, you know, want to have any bad blood. I wish you the best, but I'm going to need to cut you off, <laughs> basically. Um, honestly, you can block her on everything and move on with your life. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. I don't think blocking is ever an issue. A lot of the times it helps you really move on from that person, not having a way to contact them and not letting them have a way to contact you. So if that's what you need to do to move on, do it. There's nothing wrong with that. So there's my advice for that situation. So this is another DM from a guy. Um, and this one says, so since you're a pro, I need some help. I'm into this one girl, but she's not getting the hints. I don't know if it's because what I say can be taken in different ways. I don't know how to say it, but how do I make it simpler? <laughs> Dumb it down or straightforward. Thank you. So I think if the girl's not getting it, okay, because <laughs> this could be tricky. Either she gets exactly what you're doing and she's not interested, so she's acting dumb. Like, we do that sometimes. We're like, we know you're flirting, but we're just like, mm, 
So we're like, what? Like, I don't get that. You know, we're trying to act like we really have no idea what you're doing. Um, I feel like, honestly, the best way to handle a situation of you liking someone and wanting to know if they like you too is telling them straight up, especially when you're a guy. When you're a guy, you have control of starting the relationship, of starting that situation. Um, and I think it's honestly better that guys are straightforward with what they want from the girl that they want. So I think just tell her straight up, like, I like you. Like, <laughs> I've been kind of throwing hints, but I don't know if you maybe didn't get it or if maybe you're not interested. But, you know, I like you and I want to get to know you and I want to see where this can go. Um, and either she'll like you or she won't. You know, if she's still talking to you a lot and hanging out with you and you can hit her up time to time, she might be interested because usually if a girl really doesn't like you, she literally just won't text back. Like, we literally just won't talk to you. So, if you're hanging out around her, obviously, she clicks with you a little bit. She feels a little bit comfortable with you. So, just tell her straight up. Um, and if she doesn't like you, she doesn't like you and she's not the one. And that's completely fine. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with her. She's just not the one the universe wants you to be with. So, just be straight up. Tell her straight up. I'm interested. Like, let's go on a date. Like, let's hang out, you know? So, this one is from a girl. Um, and her DM says, I need advice. I know you probably aren't going to see this, but there is a guy and I told him I liked him and he never gave an answer back. He just said, okay, but he keeps flirting with me. So I don't know what to do. Girl, he finna play you. He finna play you. <laughs> he finna play you. He don't like you. He doesn't like you. Um, some people are not going to agree with this. Some people will. Some people might not have an opinion at all. I can only speak from my experience. I can only speak from what I was taught and it became true, you know? Um, if you're friends with a guy, never tell him you like him first. <laughs> and I know some people are like, girls can have that power too. Girls can tell him. You can. You can. Um, but if a guy likes you, he'll tell you, especially if you guys have been friends. If you guys are friends and he hasn't made a move and you feel some way, but he hasn't told you he feels that way too, it's because he doesn't feel that way. Sorry. Um, it's a difference between making a move on a guy who you really don't know and you're telling him straight up, I'm interested and y'all don't know each other like that. That's different. You can do that because he does hasn't necessarily had the opportunity to tell you he likes you. But if you're friends with a guy, and you talk to him all the time, you guys hang out, and you also told him, I like you, and he hasn't said, I like you too, and he's not trying to progress into a relationship, he doesn't like you. But he also doesn't want to tell you that he doesn't like you because he likes the attention that he gets from you. Now, does he want to have to give you that loyalty and you be the only girl he talks to and you be his girlfriend? No. If he wanted that, you would have been that. Um, so honestly, when I was in your situation, I was in the exact same situation. I had a guy best friend, told him I liked him. He didn't necessarily say okay. He just told me he didn't like me back. Um, and we had to stop being friends. Um, for some people, you can still be friends and like fix that and put your feelings aside. Um, I feel like honestly, you can't really be friends with somebody that you like and doesn't like you back. I'm friends with that person now, years later, but at the time I couldn't be friends with them because I still had those feelings. I had to wait until I completely moved on to be able to be friends with them again. And now we're friends and he's a really good friend. Um, but don't let him play you because it, it, he's going to take this as an opportunity to get what he wants from you. And I don't mean sexually, um, but the attention that he wants from you because he knows that you like him. Um... There is a way that you can kind of make him like you. You might be too accessible. When you're friends with a guy, you have like a guy best friend, um, and you like them, but they don't like you back. A lot of the times it's because you're too accessible. They can call you whenever they want to, and you're going to answer. They can hang out with you whenever they want to, and you're going to answer. They know what you're doing. They know where you're at at every time. So there's nothing for them to think about, you know? Um, so take time back. Sometimes when he calls you, don't answer. Tell him that you'll call him back and don't call him back. Always in the conversation first. When you guys are at a really high point of the conversation, then after that point, just be like, okay, I'm going to go to bed. Um, I'll hit you up tomorrow. And then hit him up randomly tomorrow, not right when you wake up. Not You know, leave him wondering, like, what is she doing? Where is she at? Why isn't she tripping over me? Once you get him thinking, like, why isn't she tripping over me? Like, she already, like, she always has been. Like, now she just is chilling like what's going on he's automatically gonna start to be a little more interested um 
you just got to play the game right. But, you know, I'd say just move on because the right guy is going to like you off the bat and he's going to make that obvious. So if this guy isn't, honestly, don't waste your time. But I can't just tell you to not talk to somebody. You're still going to talk to him. So I would say don't be so accessible. Play hard to get some times, flirt, and then act like he's literally nothing. Um, <laughs> and he'll start to be more interested, I promise. This might be the last one I do. This one's kind of long, so I'm going to try to read this quick. Hey, Paris, I don't know if you're going to see this, but I need some advice on a situation. So me and my guy best friend are really close and have always been on and off and ended up not talking for a good five months. A long time, I know. Then we started talking again last year and became best friends again. For the first time, oh, for the first couple months, we would talk every day and laugh and have fun. Then a couple days ago, he changed and started being rude and would hang up on me while I was talking to him on FaceTime and started and stopped talking to me as much. I asked him what I did and he told me this because I don't like letting my personal problems get in the way of my friendships. Weird, I know. So do you have any advice? It would be much needed. Thank you. <laughs> Girl. If you're talking to him on FaceTime and he hangs up on you, he's a jerk, okay? He's literally disrespecting you. I don't care if y'all been best friends for years, okay? As soon as he disrespects you, cut him off or give him the same energy. So what I need you to do, what I need you to do, the next time you guys are on FaceTime and you guys are having a really good conversation and it's like really fun and you can tell he's enjoying it, like he's having a great time, um... Or the next time you're on FaceTime and he's not really giving you enough attention, just be like, okay, I'm bored and hang up. Don't say bye. Don't say anything. Just randomly be like, okay, I'm bored. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Literally. Don't call him back. Don't respond to his text. Go to bed. Go hang out with your friends. Go do something. This is going to make him realize She's literally doing exactly what I've been doing to her. Like, who does she think she is? Now he wants to get that power back. So now he's going to be blowing up your phone. Now he's going to be trying to hang out with you. Now he's going to be trying to talk to you way more because he wants to be back up here. Um, so keep that power. Stay on that level. Um, eventually, you're going to need to cut him off. He's not going to change. He doesn't respect you at all. Um, he's bringing his personal problems into your guys's friendships when he chooses to disrespect you whatever he's going through in his life is not a, a excuse to not treat you right um people go through a lot of things you're his best friend so you should be the person that he goes to for those situations to feel better if he's making you feel bad because of his personal problems he doesn't respect you he's using you for attention um that's just straight up so do what you do, play that little game back, take the power back, um, and yeah, hang up on him sometimes, leave him on red sometimes, um, just stop showing so much interest, stop being so accessible, because he obviously doesn't appreciate it, so let him know what it feels like to not have what he's not appreciating, and he will appreciate it more. Okay, y'all, so that's it for today's video. If you guys have any situations that you want me to respond to or need advice, please DM me. Please keep it short. Like, give me a quick one or a quick run through that I can read um, because it just makes it easier for me to, you know, do a video on it. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I love y'all so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, love you, babies.